Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys my way of kind of like delving in the new league delve. Uh, I've been trying to like post some more progress updates for you guys, but unfortunately I'm still stuck on like tier 9 slash 10 maps. Oh, actually, I'm going to have to do that labor laboratory after. Um, so instead I decided I wanted to show you guys some delving. So uh, this is my solo self-found character. I've gotten quite a few fossils. I've actually been spamming quite a few fossils. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys my methods of doing this. Now, I'm not going to be doing what everyone else does. I'm not going to like level 10 areas. I'm actually doing this in like level 70 areas. So at least like the loot you get besides the fossils and resonators are pretty decent. So let's go ahead and enter the mine and talk about what I've got. So um, in the Voltaxic generator here, I have quite a few things spent into flares because I'm capped at like my darkness. Even at depth 111, which is where I'm at right now, basically doing this for the video, I'm capped on my dark res, so I don't need to go past there. For future reference, if you don't know, if it's 75%, you're capped for the current spot. Just think of like your base resists. Um, our light radius, I just pretty much have here. It feels totally fine. I'm pretty much just going into flares. Uh, the reason why is I'm pretty sure flares are really good for bosses and basically what I'm about to show you. So. Um, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and work on this long delve here, and I'm going to show you what I do, and hopefully this video doesn't get scuffed because, you know, we don't edit, so. So first step, uh, we're just going to go ahead and do this. Now, there is a method that people do where they, like, go through and they reset and do a bunch of that stuff. I'm going to be honest, I don't really like the whole idea of resetting and stuff, and I'm just going to do this the way I feel it was intended. So here we go. Uh, you're probably not going to see much action on this one here just because... Actually, wait, we could have something here. So we're going to go sneak by. There is nothing important here. So we're just going to skip this and go away. It is important to note that you cannot attack monsters in the darkness. Well, you can aggro them and like like do on hit effects, but you can't actually hurt them. So it's going to be very important to use flares, especially as a ranged character. The reason why I like doing it this way is it's pretty simple. We have this choo-choo train that you guys can see, right? Well, Mr. Choo-choo train has a really important job. The choo-choo train's job is to go the right way, which means that any way that the choo-choo train skips on a long path is an optional path that may have loot. So that's why I kind of like doing this method, and it's it's really easy to do, I promise. Um, now this character is kind of not necessarily designed for it, it is my league starter, but we do end up capping out at about, I think we're at like 190, 195 around there percent movement speed, so it works out really, really well for delving. Now, since we're also doing this method in the level 70 area, we get about 300 um, Azurite anytime we hit them, so that's really sick. So here is the long delve. Good luck. Here we go. I don't know why I'm saying good luck to myself, but... Okay. Let's go. So any way that has an extra, so we'll check here. Here has nothing, I guess because that's the first one, so we're going to just go ahead and skip. All right. What do we have over here? What's what's chilling? Nothing. There's an area over there to the left. Let's see. Nothing so far. Nothing so far. Okay, here's a side area. So we're going to go in here. It looks like there is Azurite. So claim the Azurite, run through, and we're back over here. Okay. Uh, looks like there's a wall, so we're going to put this here. Let's wait for a second. I don't want to use a flare, so we're going to go back over here. Get our movement speed. Run back in. I'll drop a flare over here. Okay. Looks pretty decent. Okay, now we're going to go run back to Mr. Choo Choo Train. Choo Choo Train is over here, but we want to take the right side because you can tell that it sticks out a little bit. So what do we have? Azure right over here. Uh, I'll drop a flare over here. There's a jewelry. We're going to take this, and we're going to go ahead and jump all the way over here to the right-hand side where there is actually nothing. Or maybe there was something there, but oh well. It's too late. I skipped past it. Oh, flare cache. Cool. Okay, let's go down here. What do we have? Lost Armory, and we'll flare over here. Pull a fossil. All right, let's go back to Mr. Choo Choo Train. I could have actually jumped over there, so that would have been better. But we're just going to go here. There's another boom wall. I need to heal a little, so let's just go over here. All right, I don't think that actually blew up, so I'm going to put a flare here. And, oh, fuck, I don't have extra dynamites. Okay, so that's kind of scuffed run. Uh, if you're too far away from your dynamite, it won't explode. But, well, I guess now we know that, right? Nothing over here, nothing over here. So next spot is over on this side, over here. We have Azurite and Fossil over here. Give me this. 
Okay, give me this. Very nice. What's over here? Uh, more azurite. Okay, back to the choo-choo train. Very nice. Okay, and that was pretty much one long run. We didn't really get much from it, but that's pretty much what I do, is I essentially will just keep on going horizontally, or whichever way I choose, and continue that way. It's pretty nice, because you end up running into, like, a lot of the temples, uh, and then for SSF, you find, like, a lot of, um... You find a lot of, well, like, shit-tier maps. You get a lot of wide variety of currency, and just in general, you get a lot of useful things for doing it, you know? And I mean, when you go inside with over a thousand sulfite, you're gonna get quite a lot of stuff back. Good, good, good. Okay, so Mr. Choo Choo Train, uh, let's go ahead and delve south here. I should have gotten some more dynamites, but oh well. What's over here? Oh, uh, we got something over here. We got some jewelry. Good. What's up here? Resonator. Nice. Not sure if this is an actual way or not. Oh, okay, we're a little far from home, so let's see. Let's check one more spot over here. I don't know where the fuck I am now, so let's go back. Mr. Choo Choo Train, I'm coming! Okay. Okay, Choo Choo Train is going there, so we're gonna check both of these areas. This has jewelry. This one has azurite, but let's go here first to reset darkness stacks. Let's go get that Azurite. It's perfect. Blink away. So, I'm gonna go ahead and check the other side. So, there should be a side over here. This has... Nothing, I believe. Okay. Check inside here. That's a wall that I need to blow up that I didn't bring anything for. How about here? Dynamite cache? Nothing. And... Oh, here we go. Perfect. I'm gonna drop a flare. We're taking some damage. Get me some sustain back, and let's go. We can also go over here, it seems. Here's another fossil. I'll drop a flare to hurt these guys. And, okay. Looks like we're back on track. How about here? Nothing over here. Okay, but here we got a side area. Looks like lost loot, and I'll flare over here. I think this is just a separate area. Oh no, here we go. Resonator stash. Oh yeah, okay, we caught up with Mr. Choo Choo Train. Which means we could have went this way, which means there's a side area over here that I can boom. Furthermore, we'll flare. There's another area over on the side here. Uh, this side area has some azurites. So this would have gone much better if I brought more boom booms. Here we go. Here's another fossil. Perfect. Did I say fossils? I meant dynamite. flares left. Let's not do that. That's not smart. Okay, let's go back over here. That's smart. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's that's pretty much how my delving has worked. Um, I haven't really went that far. I, like, I've only went to like 150 something. My goal is like to find a bunch of these rooms. I really just want to explore the mechanics. You know, I'm not really trying to push or do anything too crazy. I noticed down here there is an abyssal depths. Ooh, contains fossils. I'm actually probably going to go towards this. That's pretty nice. There's also a triple over here. So, um, to talk about some simple things with my character, um, some of the mechanics that we use that pretty much everyone can integrate. You have phase run. 
if you guys didn't know, phase run actually makes it so you are less likely to be detected by monsters. That's really good when you're basically speeding through what I was doing. You actually don't detect, like a lot of the monsters don't detect you if you move fast enough and just weave through. You can like safely click pretty much all the fossils and run out in the time that you have phase run. I can get up to like a 10 second phase run with my current build. Um, but yeah, definitely utilize like mobility skill, flame dash, leap slam, etc. Blink arrow, uh, phase run. We also use smoke mine to get additional movement speed. So um, definitely look at things like that and just, I guess, Another tip is like jump into the darkness, man, because the darkness is, I know it's really scary, but once you learn it and you learn to use your flares properly, you'll understand that just throwing a flare literally resets all of your stacks of darkness and allows you to be safe for, I mean, for me, it's 19 seconds per flare. Um, so, you know, quite a long time, pretty much. Anyway, that pretty much is uh, about it. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys are enjoying Delve League. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, at first I was a little kind of question mark and didn't really know how I felt about it just because, you know, of it being kind of punishing towards hardcore players. But after realizing that you don't really have to go, you know, big dick e and push as far as you can, you can just simply go horizontal instead of going in a straight line. So that made it a lot more interesting for me and being able to craft gear for myself and future characters. Like I basically crafted this, this piece of gear right here, which is pretty good, 26% increased chaos damage, 96 life. I also have these gloves, which are 44 Chaos Res. I actually rolled a double. I didn't know you could roll a double, but the fossils have specific stats on them, which is really cool. So you have Chaos Res on top of Chaos Res. And then you have things like uh, this jewel, which is not crazy, but I used the Max Life and Chaos, and it gave me Max Life and Chaos, and I was like, fuck yeah. So that's super awesome. Anyway, though, like I said, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care, have a wonderful time, everyone, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow.